Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use your AOC X Maker printer. We're going to print this skull hand, it's really cool design that I made with glow in the dark PLA. So I'll just show you quickly that this PLA actually glows in the dark, which is super cool. Um, so what we're going to do is I'll take you through the entire steps of going through the process of printing a print using the X Maker app. If you haven't yet set up your printer fully, then uh, make sure to watch my review video of the X Maker because I will review the setup and unboxing process. But if you've already unboxed and set up your printer, this is the video for you to show you how to get started with your first print. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to put in our filament that we're going to use. I'm going to use this really cool glow in the dark filament from Duramix 3D. Um, so this actually glows in the dark. So we'll show you later the effect when you turn the lights out. So I think that'll be really fun. My kids love this glow in the dark PLA. So let's try that. So I'll show you what we do on the touch screen. So we're going to start off by preheating the bed. So we'll just click on preheat there and then start and that's going to preheat the bed and nozzle to 200 degrees. Then we'll go back and it'll take a while for this to preheat. We're going to unload the filament and if you have filament already in then you're going to just need to keep clicking the unload button. Um, it does require several clicks to get it fully unloaded. And then we're going to put on our new filament and we're going to thread it through the filament uh, spool there on the side of the X maker. And we're going to press the load button. And again, you're going to have to press this several times, maybe even 20 or 30 times, but you will see the fil filament coming up through the plastic chamber. And so you can see that it is successful. So I'm going to speed up here and you can see I've been loading it for a while now and now you can see that my filament color is actually coming out and it's extruding out of the X maker. So I can check that my previous color has changed over. I had some blue in there before but now I can see that glow in the dark filament is what's coming out so I know it's fully loaded. And now I'm going to go into the X Maker app and um, I'm going to look for a print. So you can see on the home screen here that there's so many prints to choose from. Um, this is the discover section. You can click on all the different sections to see what's available. You can also use the search bar to look for something specific. So there's a lot of really cool prints and kids can just go through on the app and choose what they're interested in. So of course we're going to go with that cool skull hand. It's got 129 stars, which means that other people have done this print and it's been successful. You can see the different parts and um, you can go down to the bottom here and click print. What that's going to do is it's going to place that skull in your X Maker virtual build plate. And then again, you're going to click print again. You could make adjustments, like you could look at the buttons on the side to scale it or move it or view it from different angles. Um, that's what all those buttons on the side are for, but I find you don't need to make any adjustments. Now, one thing I notice here is you see that blue layer on the bottom is a raft that helps with be um, bed adhesion, but I really don't like a raft on my prints, especially when it's an articulated print like this. So I'm gonna click the settings there and then I'm gonna put none for bed adhesion, no raft. I'll go back and then I'm going to click print again and it's going to slice my print again. Slicing just means um, creating the code for the printer to be able to print it layer by layer. Slice the, the print layer by layer to give the computer um, or the 3D printer the code to print it properly. So you can see now that the blue plate was gone and here we go. We're going to click on our printer, we're going to connect, and then again, we're going to press start, and it's going to upload that file right to the AOC X Maker U. So you can see that the file is now being received. And here we go. So you can see that the printer works by printing layer by layer, little um, lines of plastic to build up to create that skull hand. This print's gonna take about three and a half hours on the AOC to X Maker. All right, so here it is. This took about three hours to print. You can see my skull hand here in the really cool 
uh, glow in the dark 3D print. So in order to just take it off, you just kind of fold and then peel it off. And you can see that this is, um, so there's a few little extra pieces. You can pull them off, but you can also use um, little clippers if you're um, wanting to be a little bit more car careful. So there was just a few little extra strings. Sometimes that'll happen, but otherwise it looks like a really nice quality print. Again, I'm really happy overall with the X Maker that it does actually make a really nice quality print. And so, yeah, this turned out great. It's cool to kind of sit on the edge. So you can see there, it kind of is cool to sit on the edge of like a desk or even on your printer. It looks really cool as a little accessory there. Um, so super happy with how this turned out. So let's see how it looks in glow in the dark. So cool. So this PLA filament is super fun. Great for Halloween and I really like it. I'll leave the link to the PLA in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what you print in the comments.